commando engine, I believe, a launch okay. commando engine. And basically, it's not a frame as such, it's all bolted onto the engine again. You've got the main spine, runs down the middle, which is then bolted on round the gearbox and engine. The adjustable headstock, so you can alter the trail on it. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, the, the swing and arm is inside out. You've got the brakes and sprocket on the outside with the swinging arm on the inside. Okay, got it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's all back to front. Yeah. And, um... Well, it'd be nice when we have this up at the end. So. Hand beaten sort of bodywork on it. it. That wasn't the original bodywork for it. It was um, a transparent machine tank, which is over there, I believe, still. Yeah, it's still kept it. Over in the corner. See it on the floor? Oh, yeah. So that was the original bodywork for it. it uh, just decided it needed to look a little bit more um, <laughs> sexy, I suppose. That's quite it. alien, that, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it got all that machine in it, just needed, you know, to define it. And what about the shape. painted, what about the painted beast? This one? Yeah. That's a 860 Triumph engine, one of the new ones, the Bonnevilles and that. Um, it was a fuel injection engine, which we've taken it all off, put old animals on it, a Norton 360 CDI unit in it, so it's um, got rid of all the brain and stuff. Yeah. And um, again, just sort of built the frame around it. These are machined out of solid round, believe it or not and sort of shaped and welded up and uh, yeah just go for that ball tracker look really with a modern engine um, drum brake on the front there so it's the brake <coughs> which they keep it sort of uh, inboard front end again master cylinders on the bottom with the calipers and it's cable operated <laughs> wow <laughs> with two little uh, calipers on it and um, yeah, well, just uh, sort of trying to get that sort of old rough sort of looking on the tank. Well, 